There's been a lot of noise lately around bigger models, benchmarks, and flashy demos, but some of the most important changes in AI are happening much more quietly. Over the past few weeks, there's been growing evidence that Anthropic is making a structural shift in how Claude is meant to be used. They're not just adding features, but rethinking the entire experience. Between Cowork becoming the default interface, the introduction of a persistent knowledge base, expanded connectors, voice mode, and a unified UI, Claude is moving away from being a chat-first product and towards something closer to a general productivity system. So in this video, I want to walk through what Cowork actually is, how it's different from a normal chat, what knowledge bases change, and what this tells us about where Anthropic is going next. So let's get into it. Cowork came out of an unexpected pattern. When Anthropic released Cloud Code, they expected developers to use it mainly for programming. That happened, but people also started using it for everything else. Organizing files, drafting documents, cleaning up data, managing projects, and Cloud Code was being used less like a coding tool and more like a general purpose worker. Cowork is Anthropic's response to that behavior. It's not a new model and it's not a chatbot upgrade. Cowork is a different way of interacting with Claude, built on the same foundation as Claude Code, but designed for non-coding work. Instead of chatting, you give Claude access to a folder on your computer. Inside that folder, Claude can read files, edit documents, create new files, reorganize and rename things. That single change fundamentally alters how Claude behaves. In a regular conversation, Claude responds and stops. In Cowork, Claude has agency. Once you assign a task, Claude can make a plan, works through it step by step, keeps you updated, and asks for confirmation when needed. You don't have to wait for one response before adding feedback. You can queue tasks, you can redirect mid-process. It feels less like a back and forth conversation and more like leaving instructions for a coworker, and that's intentional. Anthropic is trying to remove the friction of constantly re-explaining context, manually turning text into files, and copying outputs between tools. Cowork collapses all of that into a single workflow. I want to share a funny example of how people are actually using Cowork. So there's a guy who installed Cloud Cowork and gave it access to his work folder and decided to just see what would happen. Two hours later, here's what Cloud had finished for him. 14 job descriptions he'd been getting to since November, a full Q1 marketing strategy, including budget allocations, 47 partner emails he'd been avoiding, website copy for three announcements that they hadn't even scheduled yet, a brand voice guide he'd promised his team six months ago, and replies to 23 LinkedIn DMs he'd left on red. That's not productivity optimization, that's cleaning an entire backlog of work. He describes it as two months of work done in two hours. And then the funny part kicks in. He closes his laptop, opens Slack to look busy, realizes that there's nothing to do. So he takes a walk, gets a coffee, reorganizes his desk, takes another walk. And the next morning, it's 11 a.m. And instead of working, he's writing this tweet because in his words, he genuinely doesn't know what his job is anymore. His calendar is empty. His to-do list is empty. His inbox is empty. He has a one-on-one -on -one with his manager at 2 p.m. And is trying to figure out how to explain that he's somehow both more productive than ever but also completely useless. It's funny, but it says a lot. The reason why this story resonated with a lot of people is because it's not extreme, but it's a little bit too familiar. Most people don't struggle with hard work. They struggled with delayed work. Stuff you know you need to do, but it just keeps getting pushed back. Cowork eats that category alive. Once you give Claude file access, long running tasks, and permission to actually execute, it stops being about speed and starts being about completion. And when everything is suddenly done, it creates this weird gap where you realize how much of your job was just managing backlog. That's the real punchline. This isn't about AI replacing people overnight. It's about AI handling execution so fast that humans are left with deciding what matters, reviewing outcomes, setting direction, and owning decisions. Those things don't fill calendars and they don't look busy, but that's where the value actually is. That's why this example is funny and also a little uncomfortable. Cowork doesn't just help you work faster, it exposes what your job actually is. So where does that leave us? Well, right now we currently know that Cloud Cowork is still in research preview and is only available to max users and everyone else has a waiting list that they have to apply to. But what I'm about to show you right now are the future of Cloud Cowork and how Anthropic is actively rebuilding Cloud around productivity and not chat anymore. 
According to the reporting from testing catalog and findings shared by Alexei Shabanov, Anthro Anthropic is working on a major update that touches almost every part of the cloud experience. This includes knowledge bases, a unified UI centered around co-work, voice mode, an expanded connector system, and refinements to multimodal features like Pixelate. Individually, these sound like a normal product update, but together they point to something much bigger. The first big shift is this. Co-work is becoming the primary mode of operation for Claude. Instead of having chat as the default and productivity tools layered on top, Anthropic is flipping that around. Co-work becomes the main entry point, and if you just want to chat, you toggle chat mode inside Co-work. That tells you exactly how Anthropic sees Claude going forward, not as a place to go ask questions, but as a place where work actually happens. The UI changes reinforce this too. The right sidebar is being streamlined and there's a new artifact section which makes sense if Claude is expected to produce documents, drafts, structured outputs, and things that live beyond a single message. Claude starts to feel less like a chat window and more like a workspace. The biggest upcoming addition by far is knowledge bases. Internally, these are described as persistent repositories that Claude can reference and update over time. This is a very different from a traditional memory. Instead of one giant context blob, Claude can maintain multiple knowledge bases, keep them separated by topic or project, and proactively check them when answering questions. What's really interesting is the internal instruction tied to this. Claude is explicitly told to check relevant knowledge bases for contacts and add new information incrementally when it learns things like preferences, decisions, facts, or lessons learned. That means Claude isn't just recalling information, it's building institutional memory, and users will likely be able to attach specific knowledge bases to tasks inside Cowork, which is huge for automation, file management, and repeatable workflows. This is the difference between AI helps me and AI remembers how we do things. Another detail that stood out is references to an MCP registry. This suggests Claude may soon be able to manage multiple remote connectors dynamically, install approved modules as needed, and operate across different systems without manual setup every time. That's a big deal for automation. Instead of hard coding integrations, Claude becomes something closer to an orchestrator, pulling in tools only when they're needed for a task. When you combine this with Cowork's ability to plan and execute multi-step work, you start to see how people are able to clear massive backlogs so quickly. It's not magic, it's system level access plus planning. There are also signs that Anthropic is working on a voice mode for Claude's web interface. That expands how people can interact with Cowork, especially for brainstorming, reviewing work, or giving high level direction without typing everything out. At the same time, the Pixelate feature has been refined. It now generates higher quality pixel art avatars and supports the desktop app. On its own, that's a small thing, but it fits a pattern. Claude is becoming more multimodal, more flexible, and more integrated across different interaction styles. When you zoom out, the direction is pretty clear. Anthropic is evolving Claude from a chat assistant into a productivity agent. Cowork becomes the center, knowledge bases provide memory and continuity, Connectors enable automation, voice and multimodal input lower friction, and that's why those cowork stories feel funny and also unsettling at the same time. This isn't just faster work, it's a completely different way of working. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. We do real tests, not just headlines. Make sure you're also subscribed to The World of AI. And don't forget to check out our newsletter for deeper breakdowns you won't see on YouTube. And I'm growing my Twitter following, so make sure you follow me on Twitter as well. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.